Hello Internet, it is Tom here for TJ and JMR, and I'm back once again bringing you another lovely video. Uh, it's Black Ops 2 once again, and I've decided to mess around with my classes, so I've decided to choose weapons that I liked and all this. So I went for the Galil with a uh, fancy, fancy camo. Uh, no, not Flora, that just looks cheap. I went for the scaly looking Typhoon one. And the rest uh, will stay the same. Might as well put a C4 on. I what? Oh, C4's hand grenades. Oh, that'll be a ridiculous class. Okay, let's use it. Um, nothing else is really useful. So, here we go. Old wounds. Uh, we're in Afghanistan this time. Uh, should be good fun. Let's begin. I can't figure out Menendez is without getting inside his fucking head. Salazar, you grew up in Nicaragua during his rise to power. You know his legends better than anyone. Tell me, why does he hate us so much? Su primera guerra fría. As a boy, he witnessed the country's rape and murder his people. In 1972, there was a colossal earthquake. His family lost everything. A year later, the only thing he ever loved, his sister Josefina, was crippled in a fire. Raul and his father started over, sold drugs for easy money. They became rich, powerful legends of Managua. The Menendez cartel was all but untouchable, so the CIA took out Raul's father in a U.S. sanctioned assassination. Right, so now Menendez fucking hated America and started running guns in Afghanistan for his own private army. The CIA got wind of it, went on the hunt for him in Kabul. That was the photo Wood showed us in the vault, remember? See that handsome bastard? That's me. <gasps> Horses! After Nam. The numbers and all that? Well, he was one dangerous son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, my God, isn't... This might be... My God, if this is the mission of just pure insanity. Showtime, Mason. What'd you see, Woods? Didn't see much. Had a cloth over my face. Sand. More sand and more yep. fucking sand. Hudson's contact's on his way. You reckon we can trust the Chinese? We can't hear. They've been supporting the Mujahideen, same as us. <sighs> Bad mistake in a few years. They know if Russia was in Afghanistan, they'd be looking at China next. No one likes the Russians, huh? You know me. I don't like anyone. You might want to get your head down. Ah, oh. please. Take it easy, Sal. You deliver the weapons. Now, what about your end of the deal? I will take you to the leader of the Mujahideen. He can help you find Raul Menendez. We have fresh horses. You will follow. Oh shit. Yeah, Stay. let's ride a horse. Mason, it's Hudson. Did you make contact with Jack? We're on our way to the Mujahideen uh. camp now. Oh, do I get a sword? What the hell are you gonna do with that? You never know. <laughs> I've never picked that up before. That's so good. Right. Let's use the goddamn sword and sure use a gun at the same time. Our presence here must remain 100% deniable. There will be serious consequences if Russia learns of our involvement in Afghanistan. The only way they'll find out is if they take us down. Yo, that ain't gonna happen. A pretty cool setup over here. I'm just trying to make it jump. We must hurry. No. We believe the Soviets are about to launch an attack on the camp. Major, kick it up a gear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God, drive by on a horse or a ride by. As it should be called. Oh my god. This is just too good. 
Treyarch, you have just won the world with this. This way. The fastest way to travel, jumping. Ooh. If a Russian attack is indeed imminent, you're gonna need all the help you can get. I've arranged for a couple of specialists to act in an advisory capacity. Here they are now. Ramon, this is Woods and Mason, my two best men. We need weapons, not soldiers. This should be good. Just so we're clear, we hold off the Russian attack, you give us what you have on Menendez. Our base is here. Any advance will come through one of the narrow passes leading into the valley. I know this. Our men defend these mountains. Our weapons will give them an edge. That's a bullshit plan. We're talking about the Russian army here. They come at you a brute force, which means strength in numbers and heavy armor. Are your men ready for that? They have no experience with the weaponry we brought. We do. We belong in the front line. Oh, it's going down now. You have faith in your plans, America. I got more than faith, Zhao. Let's rock it. Let's go. Nice. Time to kill some Russians. We must hurry. We cannot allow them to enter the Well, let me just pick this lock. <laughs> oh, I love this. Just. Oh, hello. Mortars. Oh, now that is useful. Anything else around here? Anything good? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, time to get on my horse again. Let's use some mortars while riding a horse, because that is what you call safe. This might be tougher than we thought. We got hips dropping infantry right in front of the camp. Leading up to the Mujahideen. Just get to the two points and hold back the armor. Oh, it's so difficult to ride and shoot at the same time. Ah, uh, oh, okay. I've got the hang of this now. I hope. <laughs> this is just too much fun. Oh dear. Too fucking close. Let me just throw a whole mortar at you. The mortars will make things easier later on, I think. But for now, they're just comical. Yeah, I know. I have got mortars, and then I'll pick up an RPG and be really goddamn good. Mow them down. Oh, that was too easy. Okay. Oh, grenade! Right, let's clear out this area and make sure. Oh, hello. Where, where's this? One entire case for my pistol. Okay. History. Oh, I've got 19 rounds of this. Oh wow, I'm gonna just use this for the entire mission. I now need to run all the way back. That is a chore. What are you doing back here? There's nobody. Nobody, I tell you. Mason seems to be carrying a hell of a lot of stuff, and 40 pounds. That's not right. Oh, come on! I'm miles away. 
Go on, horsey. I just damaged him with my horse. That's fantastic. Brute force and strength in numbers. You expected such a fight. Doesn't mean I wanted it. I meant to destroy some. What? So hang on. This guy's just ridden off into the distance. Hang on. <laughs> oh man, that is too much fun. I'm riding a horse whilst destroying this tank. What? Oh, I got one of them. Just not the one I was aiming at, really. Russian helicopters have broken through. The gunships are the base. base. They haven't the got through. You lie. The moose can't hold off the attack. Boom. Let me turn around, damn you, horse. Hudson! The gunships are grounded! The Russians have overrun the Moosh ammo cache in the east. Is that enemy? Do whatever is necessary to recapture it. Well, I hit it and it locked on. So let's hope it was. You tell Robin from me, I'll give a shit about his concerns! That's probably not the right thing to do, but that's too much fun. That is impassable by horse! Dismount! We will proceed on foot! Let's get, a, let's get a mortar in there. Let's give them a really good time. Infantry! Fast roping in! Don't let their feet touch the ground! Hudson, the ammo cache is ours! You fight bravely, American! Mason, return to base. We have a problem. What kind oh. of problem? Now I have to ride another horse again. Down you go. I'll we'll just get rid of our problem for later, I think. No harm in destroying some helicopters. It's all good fun. Nobody gets hurt. Well, nobody you like anyway. Just think of it that way. Where am I going now? have to head back to base so get on my steed don't know what should I call my horse I don't know this is difficult he's probably gonna get killed in a second so there's no point getting emotionally attached to a virtual horse when it's gonna get shot your old man was one tough son of a bitch bet your ass he was Pavchenko Basically carved a hole in his head and he shoved those fucking numbers in there. We survived that. Well, they just say they didn't see those numbers anymore, but I don't know. I'm not so sure about that. Mason, take a look. Well, that is good magnification. I'm gonna give you that. This isn't over yet. Oh. That's big. The Russians want to give us one last display of brute force. Let's give them one last display of courage. You with me? That said, pony. You tell them. I'm just. I can't choose a weapon. What do I do? I'm just gonna. Yep, run right into it. That's it. Yeah, he's so strong he can lift a horse off. Oh no! Oh, my horse is going to get splattered. And horse has disappeared. 
Oh yeah. Bring us alongside the tank. Shove a mortar down it. That's it, just throw some really unstable explosives at me. Oh, numbers. The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? Tanks. Of course he's involved in all this. Krashenko must die. A couple times, I saw the tick. Then I get that look in his eyes, I scan in the room. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's talking to the Russian. Fucking Reznov. <laughs> Good old tricky Vic. Woods. Maybe I should handle this interrogation. Maybe you stay the fuck out of my way. Oh dear. Had to get a cable. I left you to rot in Vietnam, Sergeant Woods. You should be dead. Nobody told me. Your buddy Ramen tells me you're doing business with a Nicaraguan named Raul Menendez. What do you do for him? Fuck you! Ow! You believe in an eye for an eye? Huh? That's cringy. This is a Mujahideen, baby. They'll bury you up to your neck, peel your eyelids back, and leave you to fry in the desert. Oh, resist! Resist! You resist! You're not gonna kill him. You're not gonna kill him. Tell me about but Woods probably will. He's crazy. I save him weapons. Please don't do it, Mason. <laughs> Soviet Union has died. No. Where are the weapons go? Cuba. Angola. The third world. No, don't you dare Why? do it, man. <laughs> He's more powerful than you know. He even has people in the CIA. Bullshit! <laughs> this guy's fucking with us. All that resisting for nothing. The fuck are you doing? Menendez told me you must suffer. You face piece of shit. We have you fight the Russians on your side. No. No, you are and always will be our true enemy. Double crossed. Without water and shelter, you may last a day. If you are strong. your father think rides up on a horse to save us? Tricky Vic. Yeah, see? You're just like your old man. No, it wasn't him. That's not. Come on, if you think it was him, don't you think he would have stuck around for a bit, huh? Maybe explain some shit? Dang. Another 20G. Shifting sands. Okay. I think that's the end of this mission. Another 10G gun nut. I think that's for making my own class or something. Let's have a look. I've looked at the achievements so far. Complete a level with customised loadout. Done. Gather intel on Raul Menendez. Investigate the jungle facility. 
complete one challenge in any level. Well, pff. and rescue woods. Yeah, not bad. Right. Next level, uh, FOB Spectre. So, oh, this is one of the ones we have to like control from above and all this. So, this is going to be a bit different. Uh, this has never really been done in the Call of Duty before. We have to control stuff from above and be in charge of a unit. Um, I think I'm alright at doing these, but trying to speak live as well is going to be difficult to do as well because it's like, you know, multitasking and multitasking just. No. No chance. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching this episode. It's been a pretty good one. We had horses, we had swords. I didn't even get to use. Man, didn't even get to use a sword. What? Maybe that could be in a melee weapon. They should put that in. Um, anyway, please like and subscribe and all that good stuff because we need as much support as we can get here. And please tell me any ideas and things you want in the next episodes and such. And anyways, as always, I will see you soon and later.